Aloha. And in these presentations, we 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 will discuss about improving data into Microsoft Excel 2007 from database and web cells. This is from the Journals of Accountancy, June 2009. It's well, it's written by Romance D. Masurface, Nicholas D. Ball, and Marcel B. Volnix. So I'm Pricky. And I'm Kit. So our objectives in this presentation is to simplify the ways you move data into a spreadsheet. So we'll discuss about the three things, putting data from a local database, taking only the data you need, capturing organized data. So first I'll describe the putting data from a local database. First we open the Excel and go to the data and go to the and then go to the from access. So and then we can see the desktops we have the database is sales data. So we in the in this we choose desktops and pick sales data. And then we go this and then we hit OK. So now we can see they have the data in the Excel. And then and then we save this in the desktop the file name I think is cells one. And then save this. When we f when we finish, so we just close this. So miss and then because if we don't close the special, so the database will open a as a with only file. So we close this. So and next next steps we go we open the sales data. Open this and then we change the amounts to 2000 and then the legs we maybe we change to 3000 and then we go to the options and take enable this corners and he's okay So and then we go back and check so we change this and and then we close the we close the self this database and then we go back to we, we open again the cells one. Oh so and then we we don't see any change in D2 and D3, but it's okay it's because we can go to a data and then choose with friends all and he's okay. So 
you can see the D2 and D3 have changed. So if you want to want to see the this this Excel is changed as when the database changed, so we can go we can go to a data and go to a reference or and choose connect property and then in the reference controls we choose the reference data when opens the file and then okay so and then so now so when FS we open the spaceship so it will improve the first data from the database. All right, now I'm going to show you how to take only the data you need um, using Excel's pivot table function. So we're going to close out of this Excel. Sit out. Yes, we want to save the changes. Now we're going to open up uh, let's see, a new Excel. And we're going to go to the insert tab up at the top and then we're going to click on pivot table and instead of selecting a table or range we're going to use an external data source so we click that little icon there we choose a connection and we don't see ours here so we go to browse for more and we're going to go to the desktop where we have our sales data right here and so we click on that click open and you want it in the existing worksheet so you click OK and now we have that in our Excel workbook now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the sales rep and also the amount and let's say the location let's put the location the columns labels and then now we have our data and now what we can do is we can sort it and only use the data we want. Let's say if we just want Dave, we click OK. We have Dave's numbers. So that's the, what we can do to um, take only the data we want from the data table. And we can assess it that way and analyze it. And now we'll save this spreadsheet as sales 2. So we go to save as, save to the desktop. Sales 2, and then click Save. And also, um, just a friendly reminder, if your data does get updated and you open up this uh, new worksheet, you can always go to Data and click uh, Refresh All to have it currently up to date. So now what we're going to show you is how to um, pool data and capture data from an online source. And so let's go ahead and close this out. Okay, now what we're going to do is we clicked on Excel and we open up a new workbook and we're going to save this one as uh, Fortune 100. Uh, we already had one existing, so we're going to replace that. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how we can uh, pull the first uh, 100 uh, companies in the Fortune 1000 list for 2008. The uh, Journal of Accounts gives a little link to that. On their website um, it's just let me just show you really quick uh, just right here uh, the money.cnn.com so what we do is we open up that web page we go to the top and we right click and then copy the URL now we go back to Excel and we go to the uh, data ribbon up top we click from web and we're gonna paste that right in the address and we're gonna click go Okay, and now, let's see, exit out of that. What we're going to do is click on the little yellow, uh, yellow arrow next to uh, the boxes we want to get dragged into Excel. And none of these we want put in there. We just want the list and the company names and the ranks. We're going to go here, click on it, make sure it turns green, check it, and click import. 
And also if you want to, uh, while you're importing, you can click on properties and say you want to refresh the data every time you open the file. You click that, or you want to change it, you know, refresh it every so and so minutes, you can click on that and change that to, you know, like every, every half hour or something like that, just as an example. So after we click that, we click OK. We're going to put it in this existing worksheet. Click OK. Should be loading the data in. And now we have the, uh, the list of the first 100 companies in the Fortune 1000, 2008, and their rank, their revenues, and their profits. So now we'd be able to analyze that, and that's how we capture uh, data from an online source. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and close out of this, and I'm going to show you how to uh, pull data. Uh, let's see. From your um, company's database. So, your company has a database that you need to pull information from. Uh, thanks to Excel, we can import that data from the databases. And this is all uh, thanks to a system or called uh, Open Database Connectivity, that's ODBC. And to use ODBC with Excel, we have to set up a connection file. And we're going to run you through the process as much as we can, but we can't. Uh, show you every single step because um, we don't have the system administrator password for this laptop. So what we're going to do is we're going to go click on the Windows tab at the bottom. We go to Control Panel. We go to Administrative Tools. And we click on the ODBC icon here. And then we click on the file DSN up top. And then let's see. We click on add. We scroll down to the bottom till we find SQL server. We click next. And now what we're gonna do right here is we're gonna type uh, the name of the file data source you want to save this connection to. So we're just gonna call it um, let's see, accountancy. We're gonna click next. And then we're going to click finish. And for the description, we're also going to type in, let's see, accountancy in the description. And for the server, um, the journal of accountancy, the article, the wiki article gives us a number to put in for the server. So we're going to type one point or 128.187.60.1. Point point Okay, and after we type that in, we're going to click on the next tab on the bottom. And we're going to click on the little circle here with SQL Server authentic Authentication using a login ID and password entered by the user. So we go to that. Login ID, let's just, for the sake of things, call it Accountancy. And let's see, our password is Aloha. We, okay, and instead of clicking next, we'd go to Client Configuration. Click on that. Uh, you'd want to uncheck the uh, dynamically determined port. Then we want to determine or identify the port as. Uh, let's see. We type it in. Give us it. We type in five nine zero one. So we click on that. And now we uh, we would click OK. Example. But since we only have limited access to the uh, school's laptop, we can't actually change the server. So that's that. And then from this point on, we're going to just kind of walk you through what you would do next. After that would come up, you would click on the uh, change the default database to, and then you enter your web SQL, click on next, and then on finish. And then you can click on the uh, test data source to ensure you have successfully connected to the database. And you'd finish by clicking on the next two OK buttons you, you, you would see after that. And then, uh, let's see. You'd open up a new Excel spreadsheet and save it with the same name, Accountancy, for example. And then you would, uh, let's close out of this. It's not in the way. So what you'd do is you'd go to data again. And you'd go existing connections. And under existing connections, you'd uh, click on the 
get external data group of commands. And unfortunately, we can't show you that because we don't have it in here because we couldn't create the server. And under that, you click uh, connection files in this computer. And then you double click the whatever you name the, the server. Click on accountancy. Um, and then from there, you'd enter your the login ID, the one we created, accountancy, and the, the password, which would be Aloha. Then you'd click OK. And then from there, a screen would pop up saying select the table, and you'd find the table you'd want. You click on that, and you'd add it to uh, a pivot table in Excel. And if you want to further understand how to do this, we have it all step by step in the wiki article, along with um, some images that show what you need to do. And that is how to uh, pull data from outside sources on Excel and to simplify your the way you move data into a spreadsheet.